Welcome back to Time to Munch. Today we're doing something a little bit different than we normally do. We're revamping a popular drink, watermelon lime olipop, with actual watermelon juice and some lime juice. So let's go ahead. Get this watermelon cut up in juice. Oh, there you go. Watermelon going in. Watermelon getting squished. Yeah. Adding the lime. Quite a bit of. Oh, you can smell the lime. Watermelon. Oh, I guess we could just squeeze it with our hands. <laughs> the most natural way. Yeah. There we go. All right. So. We've got our juice squeezed from the watermelon and the lime. And now we're gonna go ahead and add it to our cups and top it off with our Olipop watermelon limes. Two ladles? Ladle and a half. Well, no, one ladle yeah, is good. Yeah, because we gotta still put an Olipop in. Let's do let's do two ladles because we got enough, and we may just not we just won't use all the olipop. Yeah, we can just drink what's left of the olipop afterwards, or make another drink, or make another drink if we really really like this, which I think we're going to. I think we are. Give your drink a small little shake. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers Damien. Cheers to Olipop, watermelon lime. It's thick, but it's good. Some pulp. Still, nonetheless, we've got some froth. The carbonation from the Olipop adds a little bit of froth on top. Very good summer or anytime healthy drink. I definitely have this again. What do you want to give it for a score, Damien? Huh. For me, it's an easy hundred, but I want to get your opinion. Huh. I'm just thinking on a really, really hot day, this would be the most thirst quenching drink, I think. So, a hundred. A hundred? hundred. Hundred. Hundred! Watermelon juice, some lime juice, and Olipop watermelon lime, some electrolytes.
Righto. Thanks for watching.